Gears 5 might look familiar to fans on the surface, but there are new things to learn. Things like the open world settings and a now constantly useful jack to call on when things get tough mean there are new tricks to master. So let's take a look at 7 things you need to know before playing Gears 5. 1. Have a gun for every range. This is Gears of War 101, but still important, having a variety of guns is vital. Aside from the grenades, you have three weapon slots, one for a one-handed weapon and two for heavier options. Naturally, you can't predict what enemies will come at you next, which is why it helps to have a mix of options. Ideally, a long-ranged weapon with high accuracy and something that packs a punch at close quarters. Your squad is generally helpful, but they don't always stop enemies from getting close, so you'll want to be prepared. Be sure to experiment as well, because there are alternatives to the obvious options. For example, if you love pulling off juicy headshots with a long shot, but there isn't a sniper rifle around, you might be surprised at how the Boltok has almost the same level of accuracy, just minus a scope. 2. Melee to save ammo Part of surviving any Gears experience is being efficient with your ammo, which is where melee kills come in. Always save a bullet if you can. Melee kills with the Lancer look great, but your knife will often do the trick when you just want to clear some pesky juvies. Those unfortunate ex-humans are fragile enough that a single knife swipe will take them out and save vital rounds for the tougher enemies. 3. Learn which weapons suit which enemies. It wouldn't be a Gears sequel without a handful of new enemies, and it's especially dicey now that the Swarm have figured out how to possess the DB robot soldiers. We found the stump especially troublesome due to its long-range accuracy and how it often moves, making its weaker organic areas hard to target. It's an enemy you'll want to use all your grenades and heaviest weapons on. Conversely, you'll find some enemies move slowly enough to be perfect targets for your long shot, while others, particularly bosses, have bright weak spots you should focus on. 4. Use your environment to your advantage The opening world sections of Gears 5 are an exercise in coping with extreme weather conditions. Whether you're dealing with the harsh cold of Act 2 or the sandstorms of Act 3, there are hazards to look out for and dangers you can use to your advantage. The frozen water in Act 2 is especially useful as a single shot into the ice can take down a foe that would normally require multiple magazines to kill. And be mindful that, due to the freezing temperatures, holes in the ice freeze up in a few seconds. Beyond the natural environmental hazards, there are many man-made traps you can use, like explosive pipes and containers, and even steam generators. 5. Use Jack constantly Don't wait until the edges of your screen get red before you start to use Jack. He can be a big help when you're cornered, but he's twice as beneficial when you use him proactively. Turning on the protective barrier or stim at the start of a firefight, or worse yet, an ambush, will allow you a moment to take in the situation and prioritise your targets. As with any Gears of War, your enemies can be tactical and patient with their use of cover. Jack's zapping and stun abilities can pull them out and expose them to help you move the fight along. And, with a keen ear, you can hear when Jack's ability cooldown period ends, so you won't have to constantly glance at the upper left corner of the screen. By using him as much as you can, you can turn a challenging battle into a cakewalk. 6. Upgrade Jack to complement your strengths and cover your weaknesses. Jack can be a game changer if you choose upgrades to complement your playstyle. If you're addicted to executions or headshots, for example, there are upgrades that reduce Jack's cooldowns based on these kind of kills. If you're the kind of risk taker who doesn't rely on cover as much as you should, Jack literally has you covered, thanks to his stim armor boost and barrier energy shield abilities. Whatever you choose, two things that are great about Jack's upgrade options are firstly, you can spend components on the more potent boosts ahead of the weaker ones, if you have enough components to spend, and secondly, if you don't like how you've customized Jack, you can always respec him. 7. Keep an eye out for collectibles From classic Gears of War collectibles to Jack's important component upgrades, there are a ton of pickups spread throughout Gears 5. Almost all the collectibles are found in areas that are in line with what they are and the game's environmental storytelling, so pay attention to settings when you're seeking things out. For example, you're more likely to find components near wreckage than in an empty snowfield. Lastly, always look behind you every time you pass a doorway. The Coalition have a habit of tucking things away in obvious places you might not look at. So there's a few tips to get you started. Leave a comment if you have any more and keep it tuned to Games Radar for plenty more Gears 5 content.